talk much about her courtship and marriage. There was uh, not much they talked about in her family at all. It wasn't until later years I find out some things that she would talk about. Um, the courtship was long. It was seven years. Mom knew and Dad knew that they would eventually marry, but they took that long because my grandmother opposed mom going out with a man who had only one arm because dad had lost his right arm in a gravel pit accident in a conveyor belt. they are married. According to my mother, it was um, dad was the one for her and uh, nobody else would do. And they had their wedding reception at the grandma's house. It was in October. It was a beautiful day, mom said. And they had no honeymoon. But my dad had uh, helped build a house next door to his uh, mother's property and that's the two bedroom home that they moved into after they're married and where mom and dad lived till dad's death and where mom continued living and working there until she died on April 23rd of this year. So in reality she didn't move far from her maternal home maybe five, six city blocks to her marital home. Lived in that same village all her life. This is the old truck that dad had and the truck where my brother Carl was born. My dad had one arm and the left one at that. He used to stick his arm through the spokes of the steering wheel to reach the shift and that's how he held the truck steady on the lane and that's how he drove brake and shifting amazing but he did it they both loved each other they looked after each other and when dad got sick um, that was his reason for dying. Uh, he was sick with pancreatic cancer, which spread, and they didn't go to doctors right away when you weren't feeling good. Uh, so it probably was festering for a while. But no, they work side by side, be it um, cutting grass uh, with the mower and baling and helping putting the bales on the truck. She would help. Oh, she mourned him for the longest time, and uh, you know, they, they had a happy life together. It's just so sad that it was only for 15 years, and I suppose you might say that seven years prior was lost, seven years of courting, but maybe it wasn't. It was a prelude to a very big love affair. Their marriage was honest and honorable for the two of them, and I think if it happened the other way that Mom passed, I don't think Dad would have been married either. accepted that fate for the rest of her life. She took the death very hard, but she was bound and determined to raise her children. However she could manage, she managed, and she did manage. Uh, but she would also go to church as often as she possibly could. Winters were very difficult. It's very rare to get out because back then the, the old car, you didn't have winter tires, so you couldn't 
for them. And if there was some snow drifts, you didn't go to church. So you did the best you could. Um, she'd be interrupted with maybe having put her log on the fire or uh, looking after a kid or two, but she'd always be seeing her prayers as she was doing her chores too. Give us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Keep me from all wrong. I'll be satisfied as long as I walk. Let me walk close to thee. Just a closer walk with thee. Grant it, Jesus, is my plea. Daily walking close to thee. Let it be, dear Lord, let it be. Through this world of toil and snares, if I falter, Lord, who cares? Who with me my burden shares? None but thee, dear Lord, none but thee. When my feeble life is o'er, time for me will be no more. Guide me gently, safely o'er to thy kingdom shore, to thy shore. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound, that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, but now I see. T'was grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed. Through many dangers, toils, and snares, I have already come. Tis grace that brought me safe thus far, and grace will lead me home. The Lord has promised good to me. His word my hope secures. He will my shield and portion be as long as life endures. Yes, when this flesh and heart shall fail and mortal life shall cease, I shall possess within the veil a life of joy and peace. The earth will soon dissolve like snow, the sun forbear to shine. But God, who called me here below, will be forever mine. 